Dealing damage in the Cycle Frontier can quickly become one of the most confusing aspects of the game to figure out. With so many different multipliers and factors to consider, it's pretty easy to lean on a guide or even a damage calculator to simplify the process and work out what's best for you. But what if I told you there was a flaw in your plan? What if I told you they were all wrong? You see, the focus of most guides is to keep things simple so that people can follow along and get the whole aha moment when things just click for them. But in the process of keeping things simple, you still need to maintain a level of detail and accuracy that keeps the whole thing on track from start to finish. Funnily enough, in my own pursuit of getting the most accurate information for this video, I found that the wiki's damage calculator has actually been updated for season 3 to showcase the exact damage stats, whereas previously it was very similar to this calculator, which was the most popular shared around piece of info for the entirety of season 1 and 2, which leads us to this video today, actually. How penetration really works in the Cycle Frontier. Now, the misinformation spread around this topic isn't all that serious. Mostly, it's just people saying that that green pen mod isn't going to do anything for your purple flechet gun. And mostly, it doesn't do anything, but it still does something. And that's not anyone's fault, because the game doesn't actually tell you any of what I'm about to. In fact, the game actually does its best to lie to you in an attempt to keep things simplistic. The lie comes in the form of whole numbers. Look at a gun. Does damage in a whole number. Shoot someone? The after aid report has stats in whole numbers. Go and look at this damage calculator, which I want to point out that the wikis has actually been updated, so use the wikis calculator, don't use this one anymore. Uh, it's, it's all in whole numbers. But the problem starts here. Our prospectors have 100 health. That much is true, so dealing 100 damage to someone should kill them, right? Well, here, let's take a look at this example. This is me shooting a purple pen nerf gun at a prospector in blue armor. I lose the fight, I get really confused because the shatter gun is in a very weird place right now, and then I get a little mad because I actually dealt 100 damage exactly in the after aid report, so I should have won that fight, kept my brute and all of my gear. The reason why I didn't win this fight is not due to the popular belief of skill issue, but because I didn't actually do 100 damage. I did somewhere in the range of 99.5 to 99.99 damage, and the game just rounded it up for simplicity. This right here is why it's all confusing. We deal and take damage down to decimal points, not just in whole numbers like every single other thing is trying to tell you. Now, I had this entire script and video set out before I found out about the wiki's calculator update, so you could pretty much just turn this off right now, go and do some testing over there, but what I'm about to tell you has more to do with context than just pure stats and is still very important information. Also, with my testing, I can tell you that some, just, just a little bit, of the information on the calculator is wrong with how things perform in the live game. So, the easiest way to see that we have a decimal point health system is to grab a restoration armor and you can clearly see the health regeneration rate of the blue helmet is 0.2 HP per second. But if you still don't believe me, here's some more proof. So I dropped down to bright stands with a Manticore and my other account. The Manticore has 12 damage, 15 penetration, and green armor has a value of 15. This means that each shot should deal the 12 damage to a chest shot. However, on this Manticore, I've introduced a green penetration mod to the mix, but if we take a look at the damage calculator that most people know, it says that green modded Manticore versus green armor does nothing. And if I shot once, that would be the case, but I'm going to shoot myself three times here and then take a look at the damage screen. 37 damage. Nothing tells you you were going to deal more damage with the green pen mod, so how did we arrive here? Math. Plain old, boring, simple math. The formula for the penetration multiplier can be found on the wiki here. To get the multiplier, we need to divide 1 by 1 plus the penetration value of the round shot minus the armor value multiplied by the scale, where the scale is set at 0.03 for players. Then we take away that number from 2, and that is our damage modifier. Let's take our Manticore green pen mod scenario for an example. We have 16 penetration on the Manticore and 15 armor value for the green armor. So, 
16 take 15 is 1. Next, we need to multiply that by 0 0.03 for 0 0.03. Add 1 to it for 1.03, and then divide 1 by 1.03, and we arrive at 0 0.9708. Next, we need to take that from 2, so 2 minus 0 0.9708 is 1.0292, which means our penetration multiplier is a 2.92% damage increase over our 12 damage. So our Manticore is actually dealing 12.35 damage a shot, which translates to just over 37 damage for 3 chest shots. On top of this, all multipliers are multiplicative of each other as well. So a Manticore shooting green armor in the head is going to be doing the base damage of 12 from the Manticore multiplied by the headshot modifier of 1.5 to get 18 damage. And then it's multiplied by the penetration modifier of 2.92% to reach 18.52 damage. Clearly shown here by shooting myself in the face for a total of 37 damage. Now you might look at this and think, well, yeah, but that's only one extra damage across multiple rounds. This was only one scenario with only an additional one penetration over the target, but we also have another factor to work into the equation. Prospector hit zones. You see, when you start to shoot and hit enemy prospectors with multiple rounds, it can be pretty easy to hit multiple areas in the same spray pattern, and with each zone having a different multiplier, it can get even more confusing, and a bit more math is required again. Now again, found out about the wiki's calculator afterwards, it actually has all of these zones uh, up there now, which is amazing, can't recommend it enough. But we have four hit zones for a player model, the chest and arms which carries a 1 to 1 ratio for damage, the groin with a 1.1 to 1 damage ratio, the legs at 0.9 to 1, and the head with a ratio being dependent on the gun that shot it. So let's take an ICA guarantee. Nice example. It's got 10 damage and let's put it up against some blue armor for an example and see how things play out. So I've got my guarantee and I shoot a guy, big spray, miss loads of bullets, but I hit him once in the head, six in the chest and twice in the groin, hitting him for a total of nine times. Without a penetration mod, we're going to be dealing 16 damage for the headshot, 60 for the chest and 22 for the groin shots, ending up with him being on one HP after dealing 99 damage. However, with a green pen mod, we would have been doing 16.46 damage for the headshot, 61.75 for the chest shots, and 22.64 for the groin shots, totaling 101.88 damage. That's the penetration modifier dealing an extra 2.88 damage in our favor in this scenario, resulting in a kill on that prospector. While the plus one and stat over the armor you're shooting at results in a near 3% increase in damage, it's important to realize that the system that is in place actually gives you diminishing returns the bigger the gap is. For our pen mods though, it's easy enough to tell you that a green one is going to be doing 2.92% more damage, blue 5.67, and purple 8.26% more damage. This increase in damage is for when the gun that is being shot is hitting armor of the same rarity. So things like Manticore vs Green, ICA Guarantee vs Blue, Advocate or Fouchette vs Purple. This means that any pen mod is worthwhile running over a creature mod except in specific situations, and I'll get to those shortly. But first I just want to show you a more common matchup as you might enter the mid to end game of the Cycle Frontier. A purple advocate fighting against blue armor. So naturally an advocate is going to have 10 damage with a 1.7 times headshot multiplier and against blue armor it's going to have a 13.05 penetration bonus which means a chest shot is going to be hitting for 11.3 damage and a headshot at 19.22. But if we bump this up with a purple penetration mod as well Keep in mind that because the gun and armor rarity no longer match, the percentage damage increase a pen mod has is no longer applicable due to diminishing returns. Now we are going to be having a 28 penetration advocate versus a 20 armor blue armor, resulting in a 19.4 increase in damage. You can see the diminishing returns as if we compare this matchup versus our medical matchup earlier, the purple pen mod damage increase has dropped from 8.26 down to 5.9%.
However, this new pen multiplier means we're going to be dealing a whopping 11.94 damage for a chest shot and 20.3 for a headshot. Now we can see drastic differences like a drop in shots to kill for headshots down to five. All of these examples we've gone through so far are regarding PvP encounters, but there's a whole hell of a lot more creatures on Fortuna 3 than Prospectors. So how does a creature damage mod fare up against a penetration mod? Well, thankfully we can test this in a few different ways as well. Firstly, a few patches ago we saw the Strider health reduced down to 35, so that's going to give us a nice test dummy of a 35 HP Strider. So we take our 35 HP Strider and shoot him in the head with a Core 47, we can see it nearly kills it, doing uh, about 31 damage. Then if we take a Core with a Purple Creature damage mod and headshot a Strider, it kills it, just, just straight up one shots it. So it's doing at least 35 damage to that Strider. And then lastly, a Purple Penetration mod headshot does around 32 damage to the Strider. So you might be wondering what's going on here. Uh, the, in this scenario, the Creature Damage mod is better. That's because the armor level of a normal Strider is maxing out the Penetration Multiplier. So adding more pen isn't going to be doing anything at all. If we take this and test it on a tougher creature like a Marauder, we can see that hitting those crit spots with more pen is what it's all about. So it takes four shots to kill a normal Marauder with purple pen versus five with a purple creature damage mod. This doesn't make sense. Purple creature damage mod says it does 75% more damage versus creatures, yet our purple penetration test clearly shows that it does more. I believe this to be a bug in the game, but right now it is very relevant information. This is where the wiki's new damage calculator starts to play up as the numbers it is producing for the data isn't matching up with what's going on in the game. So hitting crit spots is confirmed to be more beneficial to run high pen than creature damage mods for tougher enemies. But what about body shots? Well for the core it's about the same. It takes 29 bullets from a core to kill a marauder with a purple pen mod and the same for a purple creature damage mod. Now all of these tests so far have been basically with <laughs> the, the strongest gun in the game. So I'm going to be recreating these tests with something more early to mid tier with the Manticore and show you the results. So on the left we're going to be having no mods in this slot, middle is going to be the purple penetration shots and right hand column is purple creature damage mods. So for our Strider stats, you can see that no mod results in around 20 damage, while a Purple Penetration has a touch over 22, and the Purple Creature damage has a touch more around 25. And then for our Marauder testing. Boy, was this a pain in the ass. But, to kill a Marauder with a Manticore without any mods takes 147 body shots. With a Purple Penetration mod, takes 106 and with the purple creature damage mod it takes 90. So we're starting to see some big differences here with a 28% reduction in bullets with the penetration mod and a whopping 39% reduction with the creature damage mod. But how does the weak point damage stack up? Well to kill a marauder with only weak point damage shots uh, with a metacore takes 15 bullets with no mods. With a purple pen, it takes 14. Almost 13, actually. And with a purple creature damage mod, no change from the no mod test. It's 15 shots to kill. So with all of this information shown here, you can see that creature damage mods are only worth running if you don't consistently hit the critical points. And there are certain situations where no matter how good you are at aiming, you will want to run one of these mods. First off, the dungeon. That thing is as chaotic as it gets, and you will be landing way more body shots than headshots, and the other situation I'd recommend running a creature damage mod over a pen mod is killing the howler, unless you can cheese it, which I will have a video coming out about soon. I hope you guys learned something new with how the damage system works in the game, and for more guides and gameplay, feel free to sub to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.